Hello crafty friends and welcome to another 6x6 paper pad video. Today we're going to make two clean and simple cards, one using our grungy design paper pad and one using a pastel paper pad. Both the same kind of design idea, just to give you ideas on how to use both types of papers. I've pulled out four scraps, four different scraps from the pastel pad and my washi tape and I want to create four strips out of these scraps and use a strip of the rose gold washi tape. This is one and a half centimetres wide. So I want to cut one and a half centimetre strips from this. I find the easiest way to use a guillotine to trim out thin strips is to measure from this end. So this end of the paper is hitting 10 and a half, no, nine and a half centimetres. So I want to move it down to eight, get that lined up straight, cut, and the bit that it's chopped off the end will be one and a half centimetres. So now I shall do the rest in exactly the same way. So now I've got my strips, I want to tear one end so that it has a raggedy edge. I'm gonna do the same with my washi. And I've got a panel of smooth white card here. I've cut it out with a stitched rectangle die. I'm going to take some glue and put it on the strip that I want at the top. And I'm going to have this peachy coloured strip up here. That should be straight on there because I've used my T-square ruler, but you never know. Next, I'm going to go green. Pop that on, butt it right up have it extend out a little bit further. And now I'm gonna put my rose gold. So the rose gold is gonna sit in the middle of my strips. I'm gonna to have to put my head over, so I'll cut that bit out for you. And the reason I put the rose gold there is because I want to separate these two patterns. They're quite busy. And if you put them next to each other, they might kind of clash and not make a lot of sense. So having a solid in between them really helps. That needs a bit of a better tear, it's looking a bit straight. You don't have to use washi for a solid, you could find a solid coloured cardstock that is sympathetic to the colours in your paper pad. And you don't have to use six by six papers for this, you can use any pattern paper, you could use some DIY backgrounds that you've made. So there we go, we've got those stuck down now. I might put a little bit of extra glue in a few places just to hold the corners or the ends down. Now I can take some scissors or a trimmer or a guillotine and just snip off the overhang. So that's a nice little patch of colour and texture amongst this bit of white space. You could just use three if you wanted more white space or you could go for a bigger card such as a five by seven. For my sentiment, I'm going to die cut the word high. So I've got two large letter dies here and I'm going to line them up along the bottom of this piece of washi tape. So they should be level and when I flip it over, they will be in the right orientation. And now I'm going to add this over my strips and run that through my die cutting machine to cut a hole. I'm going to pop a little bit of scrap paper there to protect the front of my card from the scratches in the cutting plate. I want to carefully remove the washi so as not to tear the paper underneath. If you find your washi has stuck and is in danger of tearing, take a hairdryer or a heat tool and heat the washi and that will soften the adhesive and make it easier to peel up. You can carefully pop your letters out. You can keep those. You could use those on another card. They're quite fun. But now we've got a rather nice aperture there. And you could do what you like with that. You could just back it with some plain white card. You could back it with a solid coloured card. 
you could make a shaker out of it the world's your oyster really so i think as i haven't made one for a while i'm going to make a bit of a shaker so i'm just going to mark this acetate where i want to cut it I'm going to use this Crafter's Companion tape runner to go all the way around my aperture here. And then add the acetate over the top and I've got some strips of foam which I can place on the back of the panel around the aperture and around the edge of the card. I'm using double strips for this because I want to give this plenty of support. Before I take off the release paper or put anything in the well there, I was wondering about what paper to put behind, whether to just have a white card blank with the bits floating around in there or have that dotted paper. I quite like the dotted paper and I'm thinking I will put it at an angle rather than trying to line it up straight because I think that is going to be impossible to do once I turn this into a shaker unless actually I just put the shaker bits on there that might be the thing. To create my shaker bits, the bits that are going to shake, I'm going to put some more of this rose gold washi on a bit of card like this. So I've got three rows on this side and I'm going to put three rows on this side so it's double sided rose gold washi and that is the last of my rose gold washi. I love this tape so I'm going to have to find some more. Um, what else? Maybe some blue. Should we do some blue? And I'm going to do three strips of blue. Tidy that up a bit and I'm going to cut some circles using my circle die here. So now I've got lots of double sided circles. I've got some white ones and some rose gold ones and some blue ones. So let's pop these up here. I think that'll be fine once it's shakeable. So I'll just move those into the middle and I will take all the release paper off of here and I'll have to put my head right over again to get it lined up properly. Right, so that's on there and there's plenty of shaking going on. So I think I've got the right amount in there. I'm going to run my scissors down here to chop off the excess. And now I can put some glue on this bit of paper on the back and stick it on my card. I'll need to trim this down slightly because the card blank is a bit big for these particular card panels. So when I peeled the washi off it ripped a little bit of this paper so I do want to cover that up so I'm thinking a little heart just there and some more blue washi. So that's come out of fire, just add a little bit of glue to the back and pop it over the mucky bit. And that I think is this card finished. It's got shake and shimmer and shine. It's got a nice big sentiment and plenty of pattern and colour. So what I'm going to do now is off camera do almost exactly the same thing with the darker papers and then I'll show you how that turned out at the end. Okay so I've made one with the yellow greeny brownie paper pad. I've done it slightly differently in that I've included a thin strip of wash washi, can't speak, as well as a gold strip of washi. And I cut the papers 
two different widths. So with this one, they were all one and a half centimeters wide, including the washi. But this one, this one's maybe one and a half centimeters. Then there's a thinner one and then a wider one and then a thinner one. Just thought I'd bring in a bit of variation. Also, I staggered the letters. So on here, the H and the I are level. But here the H is higher than the I. I just thought that was adding a little bit more interest. And instead of adding a pattern paper behind the aperture, I left it white. Mm. And the gold circles are made from gold card, but on the back I put some minty green washi. So I'm liking both of these. I think if I was to do this one again, I might actually leave it white behind the aperture. I think the words might stand out a bit better, but when you're a recipient and you're receiving a card, you're kind of holding it here. It looks different to how you'd see it on video. So I think, you know, as a recipient, you would be able to read that high perfectly well and have fun shaking the card. But this one, I do like the white behind there, I think. And I've put slightly fewer circles in as well to give them a bit more room to shape. But there you go. Do let me know which one of these cards you prefer. Right, I think that'll do for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with washi tapes, pattern papers, alpha dies, whatever you've got in your stash. If it has, please do let me know in the comments, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.